<laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well-connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man, Williamson, no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? You know me? Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action at Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with you. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. Shake some They're all along the bank. Exactly the reception I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. I'd give up now if I was here! Christ, that was close! What the hell did you do to these fellas? I don't know. Something to do with the money. Eh, possibly something. But the details escape. You ain't getting another penny! Well, I'll be bugger time.
I came into this fire to fight it, and I'll go out of it to fight it. I expect you'll go out of it pissing your pants. This is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the Pulassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that porky? <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Now, you're going to have some fun. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato. The cat. On account of myself and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language. Once you John Martin. There's more fools behind that rock. I want that money there guys. That's the pillar. I haven't stepped foot in the and they're already trying to kill me. Well, you will insist on fraternizing with the Irish. I told you they knew me in Mexico, didn't I? Goody Nara! Get your head away from I chose a bad spot here! Remember any of it, Irish? There's a beach coming up on the left. Hang on, we'll be on dry land soon. Hit one! We made it, thank the Lord. Am I glad to be getting out of that floating death trap? Oh, these horses look fresher! <laughs> <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here. 
Aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man, uh, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. Uh, played three-card stud with him. Uh, or was it four-card Monty? Well, I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. The famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man. But not a bad one. <laughs>
Stumble inside.